been with us on this glorious planet for 80 years. And now she's in the process of celebrating her 80th birthday. How are you doing? And this lady is, what's your name? My name is Rivka Birnbaum. Rivka Birnbaum, is, that was your maiden name. That was my maiden name. And were you ever married? I was married about a dozen times. Ago. A dozen times. Could we have the name of your first husband? Yeah, Mr. Ben Steinfeld. Mr. Ben Steinfeld, a beautiful name. And how long was your marriage to Mr. Ben Steinfeld? I was married for about 35 years. 35 years? Yeah. And then something happened to your marriage? He died, my husband, which should rest in peace. He died, and you had children with your first oh, husband? I think I had a couple. Maybe I had a dozen. Half a dozen, okay. Well, uh, what, what kinds of children were there were a couple of boys, a couple of doors, girls. Well, let's be realistic now. How realistic. many children did you have? I had three wonderful children. Three wonderful children. But the rest you still have them. They should live and live. Right, okay. Um, could you tell us a little bit about the children? Yes. Yeah. Okay. They ran away from my house with no money, with nothing, and they got themselves married. They went away from your house with no money and nothing, and they got themselves married. Yeah. Were you happy about that? Uh, yeah, because they got nice girls, all of them. They all got nice girls? Yeah. Oh, well, you should be very happy. You're fortunate. Yeah. I'm and very these fun. three boys, boys of yours brought you grandchildren. They brought me wonderful grandchildren, but they don't want to know me. They never call me. Oh, so your grandchildren don't call you. What do you attribute to the fact that the grandchildren don't call because you? Because they were far away when I was born, and I couldn't see them so often, so they forgot me. So it's almost a natural kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. When you don't see somebody too much, then the relationship doesn't build too strong. No. Now, how, what's been going on since the death of your first husband? I married again. Again? Be a dog. Knock him All right. Him. Yeah. And uh, how was your second husband? Wonderful marriage. Wonderful marriage. How long were you married? He, I was married about 10 years. He left me a fortune with money. I'm a very rich woman now. Oh, yeah? That's why he was a wonderful man. Wonderful man. Because was, uh, uh, did your first husband lose any money? Shit, he was. <laughs> <laughs> in, in one container? He left you three wonderful boys. That's not Well, shit. that's very good. That's yeah. a boy. Too. All right. But money, he left me shit. All right. But uh, you, was, you never... You're going to put on shit. <laughs> You're not allowed to... Shit and buff. Wait a Well, that's not a very nice word. Well, but that's all I mean, it's not. It's not used in mixed company. <laughs> you realize? Yeah, I do. Okay. Now, you married to your second husband, and his name he Left was, me a fortune. He left you a fortune. Yeah. So you're very well off today. I'm very rich. Would you consider uh, getting uh, involved with another man? No, they'll take me away all the money. No, nobody else. I see. What about a rich man who doesn't need your money? A rich man don't want me. Why not? Because I'm not so out of it. Outstanding, plain woman. Well, uh, just because they're rich doesn't mean they're plain. Doesn't yeah. mean they're not plain. No, nobody ever approached me ever since then. Oh, so, so it is possible if somebody approached you. Yeah, them. no, maybe a couple of years, maybe 25 years later, maybe somebody come along. <laughs> <That's> 25, <laughs> when, when you're 105 yeah, years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, so you've lived on this planet for 80 years. What do you think is life? What's the, what do you think life is all about? It's full of shit. Why do you say that? Because Did you have a good time in your life? It's an empty shell. Empty shell. It's an empty shell. What's an, what is uh, empty and shellish about? Nothing. I go, I get up alone. I go lay down <coughs> alone. I eat alone. I fish alone. I catch alone. Everything alone. Well, how were things? When were very bad. When were the glory days of your life? The glory days of my life is when I was single before I was married. Before and I had a love, a love life with my first husband. That was nice. Ever since then, nothing, everything has, have has been going downhill. <laughs> How old were you when you got married to your first husband? Well, I was about 20 years old. You were 20 years old, that you were very much in love with your first husband. Very much. And he was very much in love with you. Oh, yeah, much and a half. Much and a half. Much and a half. And you were, uh, and then you had children immediately. Had a child. Not immediately. It takes time to have children. It takes a year to have one. 
Takes three, three, four, six years to take another one. I see. And okay. it takes about three years to have the third one. And then it took all my life and didn't have the money. Now, now let me ask you, when you were a young mother, yeah. growing up in a rather, uh, well, what kind of community did you grow up? What do you mean community? Well, how was, what kind of an area was it that you grew up with? What, I lived where? in a fast thinking room. I paid $25 rent. I took in my brother so I week after I was married, my two brothers. Yeah. And right away I was a maid in the house and that's all. Would you say your young married life was not the very enjoyable uh, wasn't time? wasn't enjoyable at all. My husband didn't make much money. I took in my two brothers. They had to pay me half a rent. And all in all, I had nothing. So you didn't have a good time when you were a young married lady? Yes, I wanted I just time. spoke to you earlier. You told me those were good times. That was a good time in my married life. I loved my husband. He loved me. But money he was shit. Well, did, that, uh, uh, did you have <laughs> arguments with your husband because of money? Yeah, sometimes you did. And um, how long did, uh, <laughs> what else? Then when he went and made money, he got sick. And how about coming to this country? Oh, okay. How old were you when you came to this country? 17 years old. What was it like, though, Well, I got into my father's house, and my father was very, very unhappy with his wife. It was his third wife, and I, I didn't like it, and I moved out. Oh. So you lived by yourself for a while? I lived with people. Okay. How was it in, in Europe prior to coming? Europe was the worst thing. We starved for a piece of bread. We didn't have nothing. I lived with my grandfather and grandmother. They were sick. I did all the chores in the house. This is my life. So far, it sounds like a very glorious... Glorious life. Huh? Glorious life. Glorious life, yes. Uh, well, you're glad you came here, right? Oh, certainly. It's still better here than it was in Europe. Oh, you had time to eat. I went to Wellington Street. I bought everything. As long as I had time to eat, was good. <laughs> you were able to eat. There was nothing to eat in Europe. Stop. People were starving. I went to a certain city where my mother's family lived. I brought 30, 36 pounds of flour for my aunt and uncle. Not for me. Uh, what did you get? And they get back to the big piece of bread again with this bread. But I brought me the, the flour. Where, where did you get the flour from? From my mother and my mother's family. Your mother's family had the flour? They were in the city where they sell flour. I went so, so they had the flour? Yeah. They said, come from as far as the south. Uh, they had the flour, and you brought it to that. I and brought it. I, I, I paid for it. They paid you back? Nobody paid me back. Where would you get the money to pay for it? My, my grandfather gave me to buy the flour. Grandfather on your mother's side? My grandfather on my father's side. I would live with my father's family. I didn't live with my mother's family. See, grandfather. I went to buy the flowers to my mother's family. Oh, you lived with your father's family, went to buy the flowers with your mother's family, your grandfather and your father's family gave you the money. Yeah. Oh, so he, they paid for it. In fact, it was their flower. You just went to pick it up. I went to pick it up, but it took me three days till I got home. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Why the train it? didn't run. It was a war time. What year was this? Do you remember the year? Yeah, the it must have been 1912, 1914, something like that. What war was it? it must have been. First, first World War. Uh, first World War started in 1914. Well, that's the time it was. Oh, so it was about 1914. Yeah, and how old were you then? Well, this is going to What year were you born? 1903, till 14. I was 11, 12 years old. That's all right. <coughs> Excuse Everything me. Everything is true. God bless me. Was, oh, yeah, you were born in 1904 because this is the year of your 80th birthday. Mm -hmm. So uh, this was when you were about 10, 11 years old. That's right. I went for that flower. I was traveling two days and two nights to get the flower. You were 11 years old, struggling with 36 pounds of flour. Let me ask you something. How did you go there? By what? By train. By train. It took by two days to go with the train. By train. And when you got to the city, how did when you get? When I got get, to the city, how did you get from I got the train? Into the train. The train was full of soldiers. Soldiers. And I was afraid to sleep there by myself. I was a young girl. I saw a little light someplace. I said, well, who is the Jewish people? I went there and said to men, please let me sit on my flower till the train has come tomorrow morning, 6 o'clock. Because I don't want to be in, in the in the, barn or in the in the place where the train goes. Then call it in the, 
uh, well, you rest before the first Oh, the waiting? Uh, the waiting. The waiting. The soldiers and other bad people. So you let me sit on the flower till the next day, six o'clock, I went to the train to go. Oh, I see. You let you sit on the flower. How did you get the flower from where you got it from to the station? Uh, yes. See, it was, it was Christmas time. Uh. And there was no train to go to the train, but the, the postman went. The postman had to go. He was supposed to bring the postman. So my aunt knew the postman. He took me along. Oh, we took you from where you got the flower yeah, to, the to the station. Oh, with a horse. With a horse and wagon. Was yeah. a horse and wagon. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. How many miles is that? Oh, it was plenty. Plenty. Uh, it was more than from my house over here. What was the name of the city? How Red far? Grudziska. And what was that, Poland or Austria? Poland. Poland. It was Grudziska, and you went to another city in Poland. I went to Rudnik. Rudnik, which is another city in yeah. Poland. Yeah. I see. Rudnik, Lapsania. Rudnik. And, uh, that was my life. Don't well, cry. did you do this frequently, or did you just do this once every no, night? No, no, I did it only, only once, because we were starving, didn't have a piece of bread. Everybody came from that city that they brought flour to my end, my father's sister. If you, everybody goes to your mother's family there to my mother. You have family around. And she goes, okay, I'll go. And I want to see my aunt anyway. So I went and I bought the flowers. And they back the bread. When, so you live with your... I your live with my grandfather. Grandfather on your father's side. On my father's side, with the, my, my father's sister, and my father's brother's wife. I lived three, four families in one house. How long did you live there with them? About five years. From you were 10 to 15. 11 to 16. And then your and father then sent money for you yeah, to, come to come to America. America. Yeah. When you came, how did, how did that happen? Tell me the story about Well, it. when the war stopped, my father wrote a letter that he wanted to take me with my brothers to America. Right. So my brothers couldn't come because they were older with, for me for four years. They were ready to go to the army. They wouldn't let them out. So my father sent me a separate uh, shift scouter to come myself, and, 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 and then he sent the, uh, uh, the affidavit that they are American citizens, they're not supposed to take them to the war, to the foreign war. But I didn't run away for them, I went myself. You went yourself to America, all yeah. by yourself? All by myself. And you were about 16 years old? Yeah, yeah. And how did you get from uh, Rydnik, you were in Rydnik then, yeah. right? To the, to the train, uh, to the boat? Well, I, I got by it. Train. I thought my father, no, I had to go first to Warsaw. Ah. To to uh, to make my uh, visa. You make went to, visa. you went by yourself. All by myself. To Warsaw to get a visa. Get a visa. You had to show certain papers. I didn't have to show nothing. I just to show them that my father is in America. He sent me papers that to come, but I had to have the visa. So he asked me how old I am, and it has to cost me money. So all the money I had the loan, I gave away, and I had no money to come back. To all the money that you had and. You had to and give them the to, to, to buy the visa. Yes. So how did you come back from uh, uh, I got back. I, I was lucky. I was lucky. There was a fellow, a, a, a Polish, uh, a Polish, a Polish Jew. He was stationed in Rudnik in Interstate. So my brothers know him, and they, he told them that I'm going to Warsaw. And he said, you go to Warsaw, you stay by my aunt, so you wouldn't have to pay no, no uh, hotel uh, yeah. money. I stayed with his aunt to sleep with a little girl there in a the bed, and they let me stay for a couple of dollars, very little money, and that's how I stayed there. But when they told me I need all the visas and that's all money I got, I gave them all the money. I want to have all so the So how money. did you come back? You didn't have money well, listen, for a train. I had no one to come back. I was crying all day long. So God helped me that that fellow who told me to go to his aunt came to the water to buy stuff. At the same time that At you were there? At the same time when I was there. And I told him, oh, I'm so glad that you came because we have to take me home. I have no money to come. I'll take you home. He took me to his, uh, to his, uh, to, this is Emmett, so honest to God. He I should took you. He took me into the uh, military van, uh, wagon. In the military wagon with the, with the civilian, he gave me in, in the back, he gave me the, the soldat war. Yeah. I mean, uh, 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 the soldat train. And oh. in the front was the civilian train. Oh, the one, one train. One train. One but train. The, the soldiers was yes. one compartment. So he took me into the soldier train, and then he pushed me into the to the to the civilian. Yeah, and he guaranteed for me that um, it's it's, uh, uh, it's right. It's, you know, they come to show you that you, you bought a ticket. And so he he showed that I had bought a ticket. 
so it so happened I came. So at that time, I had to give him the money back. He gave me a hundred dollars. Oh, he gave you the money. He bought the ticket. He bought the ticket. He gave me the hundred dollars to buy the ticket. A hundred dollars was a ticket from yeah. from yeah. Rudnick to yeah. Warsaw. Yeah, hundred dollars. Yeah, hundred dollars. So I didn't have the it money. It wasn't a hundred dollars. It could have been hundred corn and face him up the stuff and They didn't call it dollars for those. Uh, uh, it was in uh, Polish. What was the name of the Polish? Uh, I don't remember. It's a long time ago. All right, it was a hundred. I needed a hundred dollars. All right. He gave it to me, and then I went down. The, you know, the train had to stop in a certain state. And Dorton of Gewoint Manor passed me. And I went in there and I said, You gotta lend me the money. I got the money in Rydnik. I'll give it to you back, but now I gotta pay back that fella. Because that fella would be in trouble because they they take, you know, this uh, have never forgotten. So I never know what the boy was what to bring. Because he had military money, you know. And if he wouldn't show how much he spent and how much he got back, he'd be in trouble. I didn't want to get the fella in trouble. So you, you had to get the money. I got to get the money. Who I gave you the money? So they mishpuchet, their family. They gave me the money. They took my coat away. I had a coat on. They put, took away something. I'm asking, actually. Oh, so. They took away. And I gave sure them that you everything. Make sure that you paid them back. And I don't care. Make sure that you paid back. And I'm so happy that I came back to the lagoon. You know, the back and the Look, here's your money. Because you're very nice to me. I got to give you back the money. All right, I gave it back to the money and I went to the crying all the way from Warsaw to Rudnick. From Warsaw to Rudnick? In Connecticut. And then from there, he got to the train They changed the train. That was Rudnikov. Yeah, Rudnikov. So, all right, I got the money, I got home with Savain to Eugen because she took away my coat. Savain to Eugen means. Cry, my eyes were cried out, oh. and I got the money, money back, and, and no, and I came home and I told my grandfather what happened. She took away my coat, and she gave me the money. And I went to a lady that she used to go from Rydnik to Rosvada every day. She, she, what was she doing? She was uh, like, uh, having like, uh, you know? She bought some stuff over there and brought it Oh, here. she was some sort of a merchant? Yeah, merchant, yeah, yeah. She was uh, buying and selling Yeah, stuff? buying and selling. So she went every day. I went over to her. I gave her the money, and I told her the story. She was so mad. She said, "Who am I going to give them an argument?" And she brought me back to court. Uh -huh. And I gave her back the money. I don't know anybody, nothing. And that a couple of weeks later, I went to America. But how was the trip over from? Uh, from the trip from America. Was Where did you leave from in Poland? What was the name? My name? Rydnik, from Rudnik. No, no. From, from Rudnik, you went to a certain. There was no water yeah, there. Yeah, no, no. From you Rudnick, had to go to a place where there's. A I, I had went. I had to go to uh, Rotterdam. A oh, Rotterdam yeah. is where you went to uh, to catch the ship. Yeah, Rotterdam. But I was. Uh, uh, Who went young, with you from your? Nobody. From uh, Rudnik. As dumb as I am, I went myself. You <laughs> went to Rotterdam. Rotterdam I is. I went a, like this. You got to listen. Wait a second. Rotterdam is not in, in Poland. Rotterdam is 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 in. Uh, I forgot uh, the city. Holland. 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 Yeah. There. How did you go there? By train. Wait a minute. I went by the train, but I had to pass Berlin. I had Berlin. to pass Berlin. And, and I knew my mother, my grandmother had a brother there in Berlin. I knew they used to come to us. I wanted to see Berlin. I got off in Berlin, and I went there to the them. I had the address, and I figured I got time to go to America. Uh, I got the ship's gone. So I went there. In there, he was very glad to see me and everything. And then there was a fella that he was in Rydney. He knew my, he was a mishpuchet to me. He was in Berlin all his life, a long time ago. He had tickets to go to America to his father. So I figured I'll go with him. I, don't, I hate to go myself. I, I called him up. I said, Moshe, I'm here. I'm in, a, in, in, in uh, Deutschland. What's it called? Berlin. Would you like sure. to see him? Oh, yeah, I'd like to see him. He came over. He says, you're going to America, and I'm going to America. Let's go together. Well, he can't go to the same ship. He couldn't go to Holland American Line. He had something on his set that uh, it was cut from the world. And they didn't let you go to America if you had such a little... little everything had to be perfect. Oh, I America. see. It had to be a good ship. Yeah, but I didn't know that. He took away my ship's car, and he sent it away. They should change it for his ship. They kept the ship's car for three weeks. I one of the crazy. I why did, did you? Why did you let him take? Because I'm a dope. Because I wanted to go with somebody. I always oh, like people. Oh, I see. 
and they didn't send me back to Shivka. That was Friday day and night. I went to the, to the, to the, what is called it? It was the Gibmaros, the, uh, uh, the Gibmaros, the... The embassy or something? No, it was when I gave them the, the, the... Like where you got the visa? The visa. I went over there, told them, please get me my Shivka back. And they called up and they sent me the Shivka back. Wow. They sent me back to Shivka the same day I went away from there, all by myself. My cousin took me to the train, oh. and I came to Rotterdam. You went to Rotterdam. I came to Rotterdam. And went how long did you stay in Rotterdam Wait before the ship? Wait a minute, I'll tell you. I came to Rotterdam, and I had a class, second class to go to America. Second class seat. Second class seat. No, the second class, the best. The best. The best. The best. The, best, the, the best is the best. The is best. The first class the best? Yeah. No, the second class was good too. Was also good. Oh, but so, it wasn't the best. It must have been next to Very good. So. I, I, I see if one ship is going away, the other ship is going away. What was the name me. of the ship or that you were on? Uh, uh, Rotterdam. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, Holland American Line. Holland, Holland American Line. line. It was yeah. the name of the Yeah, the uh, ship, I remember. The I, ship's I, I, line, I but it wasn't the I name forgot, of the ship. I forgot the name of the ship. I forgot. All right. I forgot. All right, so we'll let you go. The Holland American Line. So I, I said, a lot of ships are going away. They don't call me. He said, you know why they don't call you? Because you have the second line to go. That's the best class. And there is no room for you there. I said, why shouldn't there be room for me? You owe us money. you got to pay another $25 to get on the ship. And I didn't have. I, I, I called up, they called up my father. Or they called and they called him, but they sent him a card. I didn't, they did. And my father sent me $50. At a wait? Where were you? Uh, it wasn't that. But where were you staying? Oh, millions of people were staying that time in Rotterdam. But what, your street? Did you stay in a no, hotel? No, 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 Big, big place, like, like this house all around. And there was millions of people, not only from the city, from all the cities, from all over. I understand around. that, but where did you sleep? We had bedrooms, one on top of the other. The here was so the woman, the, and the other side was the man. What was it, like a giant waiting yeah, room? Yeah, 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 yeah. Was it in a room? Yeah, but yeah, in a room, a tremendous big room. Oh, and everybody stayed this everybody one Everybody stayed there, yeah, yeah, yeah. For nothing? There question. was no charge No, this? no, that was only for the Miss Mitchell, Miss Cole from America. I got acquainted with a girl there, Ethel, maybe you remember Ethel. She came from my girl, I got acquainted there. Oh, and I Rotterdam, see. Rotterdam, yeah. Now, what did you eat? They gave us eat, three times a day. And you didn't have to pay for this? No, nothing. Look what went on. This was in, in about 19... 1920, 1920, 1920. 1920, 1920. Millions of people went on, not only from the street, living in other states, but this is true. So, uh, yeah, so it so happened that I got acquainted with her, and I slept that bed, but it's not, yeah, when I got there... Oh, on a bed? That was stacked one on top, on top of the other? One on top of the other, yeah. And I slept there, and a lot of them, men, not men, men slept in a different place. Okay, so yeah. it wasn't dangerous, right? No, it wasn't. You never dangerous. felt no, uh, never, threatened? No, I never felt that dangerous. But, but uh, that uh, went around about three, four weeks. I still didn't go to America. So they told me I got to pay. When you, can, <coughs> they I told you send me the money. And I went up and I paid. You go for the next next ship to go, you go. <coughs> the next ship came along. Got, walked me up here. Here's your ship to go to America. Well, they, everybody knew where you, uh, each person was. They knew everything, here, yeah. And that's the way I came here. Okay, so now you're on the ship. Now I'm on the ship. Where Where are you staying on the ship? Yeah, Holland to Melbourne, Holland to No, Melbourne. no. Did you have your own room on the ship? No, with a lot of people too. A lot of people were shared sure, one room. Yeah, we shared a lot of people. Okay. So with I'm, women. With women, yeah. I see. And then how was it on the ship? Was it bad? I was sick on the ship. I couldn't eat nothing. I was vomiting on the ship. Oh, you were seasick. Yeah. Was, was the food? Was the trip? Was it? It was about uh, two weeks, close to two weeks. Was the food good on the ship? Who knows what time I could have eaten anything. I, I, was, I was so stupid. Were the people I, friendly on the ship? Was yeah, it nice? Yeah, my people were nice. Yeah, it was nice. And did they uh, sing songs and try to play nah, games? I don't remember what they did that was so many years ago. So uh, I came here, my father... Did any there. fellows try to make out with you? No, I was a young girl. I didn't even know how a fellow looked like. They all look alike to me. <laughs> uh, what do you think the girls are talking no, no. The girls come around years ago like they do. Oh, well, you were 17 years old. You started to get into. No, weren't you interested in boys? No, I wasn't. I wasn't. My Did you ever have a boyfriend in Europe? No, I never had a boyfriend in Europe. Did any boy ever kiss you in Europe? No, never. Never. Did you feel never like you were at the prize? The only thing I had before I 
before, I, I was a very poor, I told you that before. We were very poor, so a cousin came to my dad. He said, I want Driscoll to come to me. My wife is going to have six, a six child, and we need a little help. I said, yes, I'm going to start I'm starting, I'm starting and they have nothing to eat. At sure. least they had something to eat. I went to him. I stayed with them, and I helped them out. I washed clothes, I washed floors, I did everything as a young girl. And I helped How them. Over how old were you? Well, about 15 years, no, about three years before I went to America. It so happened there was a girl my, my, my size, and there was a fella older than me. So what, I, what were they doing there? Uh, they were their children. They had two oh, children. Oh, they were the children. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So the fella, listen to that. This you got to listen. I slept. There was a bunk bed. You know the bunk? They put a braid of, 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 of a bed, and they take that off, and you put it on two chairs, and make a bed out of it. Oh, and I they see. Had, and they had a little straw sack, you know what I mean? Like a straw? Put, you know, to put in something that you sleep on, like a mattress. So they put that on. It was late the whole day, but they didn't close it because they had to go to sleep. I slept on that. They had not like that. I slept on that. One night, I see, I'm going to tell you that, but this is one of, the, one of the best things. One night, listen to that. I see that somebody opens my cold ring, you know, this one covered myself up. And they have a candlelight and they look into me. I thought maybe I'm dreaming. I wouldn't make no scandal. But I see again, they do the same thing. They often up for the whole thing. They wanted to go into my bed. I made such a good I screamed all night. And that stinking fella, he was about two years older than me, he wanted to creep into my bed. Oh. I should have I told that my husband. And I made such a good So what happened? What did the father? The father almost killed Two weeks later, when I went back to the oh, But that was, was before Pesach, you know, and Pesach was there at that. Got some attack of a dame health, but I did. I went back to read me, but I knew I left her with so much work and with six children. I said, I'm going back just to help her make Pesach. You went back again? I went back again. That was very such nice. Such a dope, such a dope I am. And I went back and I helped her to make Pesach and write and, and I cleaned up with her and everything. Six children, so much work. So they have to have it about Pesach. And I was at Pesach, and after Pesach, I went back to Rignick. And I went back from there. I told you that's the story when you started. That's when you started to put on her. But that's the thing. Uh, that. So that boy tried to crawl into your bed. crawl into my bed. So look what Those I boys will do it all the time. Yeah. So listen to that. I, I, when, I, when, when I was already in America, he wrote to my father a letter. So my friend Herschel, the Patterson Sheik affidavit for his son come to America, you needed an affidavit, otherwise you couldn't come to America. I said to my father, don't you ever send anything to that bomb. I don't want him because you wanted to creep into my bed. She wanted to send her. If he hadn't done that, I would send for him. He wants, he wants to be a health to get this color. Yes, his name was Herbert. 